Hey guys, Get Level here. It's currently almost 2 a.m. and uh, we're gonna be talking about my robot arm. Not this one. So it all started out about four months ago. Four months ago, I was thinking, how can I take my stream to the next level? If you guys watch my channel, you know I'm pretty much obsessed with being original and being the best and having the best things and the best qualities, the best. <laughs> Basically, I was trying to fluff up my live stream and I came up with this idea. I was like, oh, maybe I could have something that my chat could interact with. Not talking about those bots where you can have like mini games inside of chat. I don't like those. So I was thinking maybe something in real life, you know, maybe like a, a little car, some lights. I initially thought, hey, you know what? I would like to have something that um, whenever I get a donation, a follow, a host, a sub on Twitch, maybe I would have a bubble bubble <laughs> gun. <laughs> Basically, I would have this those little soap bubble guns that would just spray bubbles at me or something like that. Or maybe a water gun that would spray water at me. And then I thought, that's cool, but that's also too simple. Like that's like on off, you know, it's like you get donation, it sprays bubbles or water and it stops. It's not really interactive, like not as interactive as what I wanted. So I looked up at robot arms. I was thinking, hey, if I have this little robot arm with a claw, um, maybe I could have like mini games that chat can play. I could have little pieces and chat can like sort out and place at different places place at different places <laughs> but yeah i was really set on that robot arm thing so the next thing to do was to go on the internet and look at what type of robot arms were available turns out i was starting to learn how to program with arduino and do different microcontroller driven little projects and i thought okay that would pro probably be quite simple to code so this is where things got interesting to say the least basically i went on multiple websites to try to find a just simple design very very simply designed robot arm something that just has like one elbow and a clamp so i saw everything from a price range of i think the minimum was like 25 dollars all the way up to of course three 300 500 dollars just for a simple small robot arm and i was like no i don't want to pay i don't want to pay that much for a couple of pieces of plastic and uh and a couple motors servo like very cheap servo motors so i thought about multiple ways i could go about making it by myself um i thought of using cardboard but i know it wasn't going to be durable and since it's something that's going to be moving and eventually gripping things it might like get damaged fairly quickly so i thought wow if only i could get this like in plastic but i don't want to be cutting plastic so of course i looked up oh maybe i should get a small little cnc mach machine basically it's like a laser cutting machine that would cut uh, precisely and, and give me pieces of plastic i was like i don't want to spend more money on that and also it's probably the only use i was gonna get out of a cnc so i thought the best course of action would be having a 3d printer and be able to print pretty much an infinite amount of robot arms when you think of it well of course when you don't incorporate the motors and the price but technically one of the cheapest 3d printers i found online was the anet a8 and i bought it yes i did <laughs> i bought it for 130 euros so when you think of it, I bought it for the price of about four robot arms, four cheap robot arms. And technically, if I could buy the motors for about two euros each and then print pretty much an infinite amount of, <laughs> of robot arms, and it would still be way, 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 way 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 cheaper than buying my own robot arms and also i've always wanted a 3d printer so it was a win-win situation so i did that i bought the 3d printer i printed it and now it was time to figure out the coding even before revealing it to my to my stream i was telling them hey i'm working on this secret project i figured out that if i wanted to code it i would have to go through a bot Basically, I had to create a new Twitch account. I set up, it's called Get On My Level Bot. Um, I set up this bot and the whole bot was coded in JavaScript using the Twitch API called TMI. Yeah, TMI.js or something like that. Now, keep in mind, this is my first time ever touching JavaScript. I don't know anything about JavaScript. I still don't know much about JavaScript, to be honest. So I watched a couple of tutorials. Uh, my best friend Nova, she helped me uh, with a couple of, um, of of errors I was getting and mostly like creating my first 
JavaScript program. So I have the bot up and running. And what I had in mind is that since a bot, since you can type commands, I know that if you type certain things in chat, it could listen to those commands and react to it. And you can choose what they do when they react to it. So my other problem is that uh, my robot was being run on an Arduino. So it was like, um, what's Arduino code? Like C++, C++ or something like that. And it's mostly you create a code and then you send it to the Arduino and the Arduino doesn't care about the computer in anymore. It just uses it as a, uh, as a power supply. Now I needed something that could communicate actively with my Arduino and my bot and my Twitch chat. So that's when I found this library called Johnny5 that does exactly that. It's basically a JavaScript library that communicates with your Arduino throughout your COM parts or your, your, your USB parts, if you will. But anyways, that's a lot of blah, blah. What I'm saying right now is I went ahead and I, I made my bot basically trace its own limits on a piece of cardboard from like a, a cereal box and I created this little pattern thing. I also printed uh, a couple of pieces and like I, sp I spray painted them two different colors. And now the goal in my chat is to go ahead and separate them, put the blue, uh, the blue pieces on one side and put all the yellow pieces on the other side. And honestly, we've been having a lot of fun. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Why? Why? Because the code could be refined. I don't want to touch it anymore, but the code could be refined. <laughs> And um, also it's not properly powered, I think. So I get a fairly amount of jitter sometimes. Sometimes you will type down, it would completely go up. <laughs> but I kind of like it. It's kind of like, <laughs> it makes it more difficult. And we all know how people love Dark Souls. So my robot arm is kind of the Dark Souls of real life. <laughs> but it's very cool because it created something um, that my chat kid actively interact with and i'm trying to push it even further so if you guys are familiar with uh um arduino and javascript coding please feel free to contact me because i have more projects that i have no idea how i'm gonna code so i think we could <laughs> i think we could work together and come up with those amazing stuff for twitch streamers now if you guys would like to see some sort of in-depth tutorial i can even share my code and stuff like that uh please let me know i know that people don't really care about the technical aspect of it they just want a pr presentation and say hey this guy coded this huh? i'm never going to be able to do that it's not true because i didn't know anything about javascript and i had to figure it out it took me about four months in total um between having the concept in my head and actually making it a reality so to close this video off I have a question for you. What should I name this robot? Because my Twitch chat hasn't come up with a name yet, so I would like to find a name. And if you guys have any suggestions, put them in the comment section down below. If you have more questions, you can follow me on Twitter. That's the other side. That's at level underscore photo. You can follow my Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash get level. If you're looking for overlays, camera overlays, uh, transitions, transitions. Yes, I have transitions now. Uh, <laughs> animated overlays, Fortnite overlays, Overwatch overlays, all of that. You can go to my website, which is, oh, it's not my website, but gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of products. They're either super cheap, either free. So uh, can't really go wrong there. But that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Get level out.